correct all of the times. Smiley face. What's over here? Spoils because of pillage. Fabulous. 4-3 with estates. Take a look at this board. Attacks pillage. Nothing else. Trashing. Chapel. It's the best in the biz. Chapel Theodem. It's a thing. Oh, wait. Well, I should not discount that. Farmland also trashes cards. Great. Village. You've got fishing and walled. Draw. Oh, nobles is also a village, but nobles is your only draw. Plus by market. Well, the engine components are here, but draw is limited in nobles. Payload of ye old engine. Well, uh, there's a decent amount of alt VP. You got Phaedum. Armory. Um, you could potentially make a, a decent late game Phaedum play. A payload of your. Oh, Coppersmith. Hello. Hmm. I don't think there's enough draw to justify using Coppersmith as your payload, especially with Phaedum around. I mean, I love you, Coppersmith. You're a super good card. And I'd be a lot more tempted without Phaedum here, but Phaedum is here, so sorry, bro. I mean, silver, you can just make the payload of your engine silvers, and then uh, you can, like, buy and trash Phaedum late game if you're behind. So I think the engine here is clearly the way to go. How do you build an engine here? Well, uh, opening chapel's really good, so we're going to get that. I think I want, like, two fishing villages in my deck, and then the rest of them being walled village. Draw is tight enough. I just want the reliability here to have one in play every turn. Uh, maybe the early economy is okay. Like, a chapel fishing village opening is probably okay, but armory, I think, is, is just better for opening. Chapel armory, I think, is just fine. You can top deck a fishing village if you really feel like it. Yeah, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to open Chapel Armory. We want to try and balance economy with thinning, which will depend on our draws, of course, and win a Noble Split. Noble Split's probably going to be a big deal. Armory, go. Of course, I, I say that Noble Split is a, a big deal, and then I buy something that doesn't gain Nobles. Okay, well, this is unfortunate, but it's not the end of the world. It makes me a little bit happier that I got the Armory. TBH. Just thin down, pick up some treasures, buy some nobles. Be very careful about when we pick up our first market. Okay, this is bad. What are we going to top deck here? Fishing village. Should be okay. Uh, this one's got to be a silver, though. Got to make sure I've got enough money in my deck to hit six. Okay. This is uh, just fine. Uh, I need to very carefully track my deck here. So I know what to top deck. Uh, I'll probably be buying either a silver or a fishing village this turn. Chapel the estate. What are these cards? There's an estate. There's three coppers, right? That's it. Yeah. Estate and three coppers. So if I top deck a silver, I'll hit five. Get a market. That's okay, yeah. He hasn't hit six yet. He's got one silver and a fishing village. And he's trashed all of his estates. Wow, he's trashed like a bunch of stuff. He's very thin. Ooh. He drew his deck. What is his deck? Duration fishing village, armory chapel, silver, copper, copper. So you can five this turn, I'll get a market. Now we're roughly even. Let's top deck a silver. I want silver. And uh, we'll we'll get a fishing village here. Mark it now, and then I should be able to hit six, yeah? I'd really like to. A couple silvers in the old Dekaruski here. After this, I'm going to start... Fade them already. Are you just using that as like an early economy play? I mean, that's probably okay, yeah? You need a market, yeah, you gotta get one. Market. Okay, this is not a $6 hand, and I didn't see my chapel here, which is unfortunate. What do I top deck? I think it's just gonna be a village, yeah. Oh, he didn't draw his chapel? Aru? His deck is huge. 
He's arm regaining Feta. I don't know what the plan is now. Can I hit six next turn? I've got a chapel in here. Two coppers. A silver. A fishing village and a market. So unless the silver misses, in which case the market will draw it. So if the market misses the shuffle, then I hit six, right? Duration fishing village, copper, copper, silver fishing village. So I can just top deck a, a regular village here because it's better than nothing. And uh, get a thing. What kind of thing do I want? I'm getting a nobles next turn. I should have plenty of villageness. I think I'd rather have a silver than a phaetum right now. Do I? Am I really drawing enough for that? I could just get another village. <sighs> okay, I might even be able to trash a copper this turn. Hit six. Still didn't hit nobles. It's good for me. Okay, I can chapel a copper, so we will. Gotta get nobles. The payload is enough that nobles is still worth it, yeah? I would really like to draw a nobles. The more I draw, like, uh, the more goodness is gonna happen. I really don't like his diverting for Feyada. I think getting more nobles is more important. You don't want all the silvers right now. Once you're drawing your deck, you can get the silvers and draw them in the same turn. Another fishing village. Man, he's just not prioritizing draw at all. Draw is so important. Uh, can I? Um, I can guarantee a nobles this turn, right? Could armory a uh, silver? Draw it. Yeah, I, hitting nobles is important enough. Let's go ahead and do that. Yep. And I should be able to kick off. Yeah. Thin some coppers, get that estate out of my deck finally, and buy a nobles. That's what I want. That's what I want. I want it. And you get a nobles. Great. Cards. Go. That was awful, but we can still get one nobles. I'd like to think my deck is capable of double nobles, although I'm not entirely sure. It should be. Armory of silver, draw it. What do I have? I have a market, two fishing villages. I think I still have a copper in my deck. Yeah. I still have one? Maybe not. Not sure about that. How many silvers? I think I have four. So if I armory one, I should be able to double nobles. Uh, anyway, let's draw cards first. Okay. Village. Yeah, it's time for this. Okay, let's play the fishing village. Uh, eight, nine. Well, we got an armory of silver anyway. Wait, am I? Uh, can I do? Can I do a phantom trick here? No, because I don't have enough villages. That's sad. Well, let's just get the silver then.
What is that card? <sighs> it's a Nobles. I probably could have done a Fatum trick. Oh well, uh, I want to top deck it, so we'll just... We'll get a Nobles, and then what are we going to get? Uh, market is pretty good. Village is okay. Pillage is very tempting. I have four Nobles. Yeah, so that's a Nobles. I'd rather top deck it. I threaten to double Nobles next turn. Ah, uh, market's got to be good. I want the, the extra buy. This is a great chance to pick it up. Probably be armoring villages for a while. Actually, I might armory another armory. If he doesn't nobles this turn, I can double nobles, which will be very nice. That will put me way ahead. Otherwise, I, I mean, I'll have uh, brr, uh, six nobles to his two. Which is super good. I can just draw a ton. And then I can do Armory Fade and Tricks. And I get my choice of payload at that point, yeah. I can either go for Fadem and Silver, or I can just use the Silver as a quick way to amass lots of Silvers for payload. Uh, this is really sad because my village is in here. I wanted that. We have to... Oh, this is so sad. I have to draw here, though. My my turn is... <laughs> much weaker than it should have been. Yeah, uh, well, we can top deck a thing. I'll top deck a village, I guess. And... Get the nobles, and now what? Village and Fatum, I think, is pretty good. Yeah, let's do that. Should be able to trash it next turn. Need to think about piles here. If he lets another pile get too low, and I have a lead, uh, I mean, Armory is really great for pile control. I, I think I want to Armory and Armory this turn. I wanted to do it last turn, but I my draws weren't such that I could draw and play the Armory, in which case it wasn't really all that worth it. But I should be able to do it this turn, right? Yes? Deck? Only two nobles he can't draw his deck. And all these fishing villages. I could just go for double province turns. Seems okay. Uh, I can armory a village. I can armory an armory, draw it, necro, armory a village. Ugh. I really want to draw a card first. It should be a nobles, right? Oh, village. Lovely. Uh, let's do that. Now we can safely armory an armory, draw it, misplay our turn. It's pretty good, yeah. Should have armoured a village. You're so good at this, Adam. Uh, I think I chapel fade him nobles to draw. It's not that great, but uh, I've misplayed this turn. Sure, we'll do that. I need to seriously think about ending the game. What is this deck capable of? He's got two markets and one armory. He can have four gains next turn, not counting silvers. 
He's got three duration fishing villages in play. It's I mean I need to just play around to him having a magical turn and drawing his deck because I'm ahead enough that I can. So I just need to make sure that there's not four gains or less to empty the to, the piles and stuff. There's there's no farmland tricks he can do to to help now. So I think I can get a single province here. That's okay. And then with two buys and ten dollars, I can get like uh, two villages. These villages will allow me to do more armory tricks. So I like it. Yeah. I can increase the payload of my deck this way. Of course, my draw is limited, so I don't want to go to Cray. But yeah, if I have more villages, I'm able to more cleanly do things without relying on a good draw. Well, well he got both of his nobles. He drew a big portion of his deck, so this is the turn I've played around. Can he double province? Chapels of Phantom. He lost one point for that. Oh, he has three nobles. I thought I won that split by more. Huh. Okay. Well, I want to leave three provinces in the supply, that's for sure. Uh, okay. <laughs> I want to be using all of my nobles to draw cards. Let's get my villages out first. We can armory a thing and draw it with this noble, so I want to do that. What is the thing that I want to armory? I'm very tempted by Phaedum. One, two, three, four. This is my last nobles. I think it's got to be Phaedum. There's a chapel in here and another market. I think I, I want to get a Phaedum. Well, I can armory a Phaedum. No, I don't want to top deck a Phaedum to do that. I'd rather top deck a village, which is what I would armory later. So yeah, let's get the Phaedum. Okay, we're, we're playing our turn cleanly now, yeah? Because we're good at this game. Now I can armory another thing and draw it. I think it should be silver. What, do I, what have I got here? I've got four, 16, I can have $20. I can get up to 22 by armorying a silver, and that powers up my existing Phaedum, right? Uh, I think armorying a silver is a good plan. Yeah, that's super good. I want it. Okay. Chapling Phaedum just seems a little reckless here. I don't think I want to do it. One province and, and no more, for sure. I mean, I, I can't triple province, and so the, that's just. I need to get exactly one. Wait, what? I need to get. I need there to be three provinces left in the supply, so I do this without thinking. Now I can basically have whatever else I want with my two buys. If I farm land a f chapel into a phaetum, that's pretty good, right? The farmland is like a silver that's only good for buying provinces. So I like that play. It also gives me uh, more points. Yeah. I don't think I ever want to chapel a Fatum again. So that's a good play. And now what? I can have anything I want with this buy. Province is reckless. I shouldn't be doing it. Pillage is just not... It's not good. I 
I think I might be done playing Armory unless I have a pile ending. I think a Fadem here is probably okay. Fadem is better than Duchy. I don't think he can end the game, and then I threaten piles next turn. It puts him in a difficult situation. Let's get the Fadem. Okay, and we'll kick off nicely. So I, I armory gained, I fully flexed the draw of my deck, which can never increase, and I just drew my deck. And then after that, I added one, two, three stop cards to my deck. Well, only two. The chapel doesn't quite count. So I can't, I definitely can't do that again. That's just not an option. Playing all silvers here, I don't think was smart. You probably want some farmland flexibility. This will serve as a reminder to me to not just press the play all treasures button at the end of my next turn. Uh, double province here is a super weak play because single province wins. So he, he has to, and he only has two buys. It's really rough for him. This is uh, probably not a good turn. He didn't see his other market and he didn't see his armory. He really would have liked to see those things. Um, it may be that his best chance is double province and hope I can't. I, I just totally stall, but I'm not sure. Anyway, let's play uh, action cards. Uh, I almost have a force win, but there's no reason not to play my village, and there's no reason not to play my market. 13. I've got it right here, don't I? If I don't play the nobles, because I can buy double farmland, trash farmland, and nobles for provinces. Yep. Just double checking. This is a force win. Double province empties the pile. I'll have plenty of points. I've got 10, 13. That's enough for two farmlands. I have two buys. Yep, we're doing it. Uh, 